Hey friends, hope you're doing well and welcome to this bonus lecture. Now, let's say you have a matrix visual like I do here. And what you want is you want to specify a bigger size for the columns. However, what you want is of course you want to have the same size for all the columns. Because you probably know if you hover over this, you can make this bigger, of course, but then you need to specify the exact same size here for basics. How do you do that? Also, if you want to make it smaller, you see that there's this wrap currently, which some people like, others don't. And this is also something you can turn off. But let's figure out how we can do this. At first, to get rid of this text wrap for the column names, as you can see here, as well as for the values, all you need to do is select the visual here, then go to the formatting options, and then search for text wrap. Or if you just search for wrap, you should also find here the options. So if I turn it off for the values, this means it's not applied in the values area. And I also want to turn it off for the column headers. So also there, turn this off. And now you see that if I make this smaller, now there is no text wrap anymore. That's the first thing. But let's get back to our original question. If I want to make this bigger and I want to have the same size for all the columns, how do I do that? The first thing we need to do is we need to specify here, let me go on there and say search for auto and this auto size width. This is something if I turn it on, off and then on again, you'll see that automatically changes back to the spe uh, specific size so that all the values are visible. At first, I'd like to turn this off. That's the first thing. Now I need to create some kind of helper or I sometimes call it dummy measure. So I right click on my measures table, go to new measure. So then let's just wait and there is the measure. Let me just zoom in so you see it better. And let me call this dummy for instance, dummy is equal to, and I go to new line and just say, I'm using the repetition function, so rept. And then I specify any kind of text. I'm just using a zero here, but you can use whatever you like. And then the amount of times I want to use it. So let's say I want to make it 10 times so we can see that this really works. So that's it, that's the whole formula. We press enter and then we get our measure. Okay, and now let's do the following. Let's actually remove the profit margin for now and instead put in our dummy measure. So let's take this dummy measure and uh, one more time, sorry for that. Let's first go to the auto size. So I'll turn this on. Okay, now we got our size. Now we would like to turn it off. Okay, we keep our size, the current size and we go back to our values area here. We remove the dummy value and instead we put in now the profit margin again. And you'll see that now you got the same column size for all of them, but the bigger one without the auto size. So it's the same size as we had using the repetition function. And that's how we can specify the same column width and of course also the size of this column width using this helper, in this case measure, but be aware that you need to turn off the auto size afterwards because you will see that just to show this to you, if I go to auto size width here and turn this on again, then our original new column width will shrink back to the original one. So let me just show this to you. If I turn this on, you see that now it's exactly the size so that Power BI fits the specific measure inside this column. And that's basically the trick for adjusting the column width for all the columns to the same size and make it as big as you want. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.